Hey, I'm Chantastic. I want to introduce you to component stories, a format used to document, develop, and test components in a front-end workshop environment. In this video, we'll cover what stories are and how to use them inside of Storybook using component story format three. Let's dive in. So what is a story? A story is a single isolated state of a component. You can think of this like unit tests for visual states. What does a button look like by default as primary, small, large? Now that we know what a story is, how do we write one? Well, a story is part of a structured data format known as component story format or CSF for short. All stories are named with a dot stories file extension prefix. This makes them easy to differentiate from component code, even though they live side by side. Every component story file begins and ends the same way. You import the component you want to document, you export an object describing that component. We call this part component meta, as in metadata. Add a title property to our component meta, and this is a valid storybook file. With our story file in place, we can start writing stories or documenting states. Create a new story by adding a named export and returning the component we imported. The name used to export the story becomes the story's name inside of Storybook. Now, multiple stories with the same state is not interesting. So let's pass along some props. To our large story, use size large and apply a value, large text input. To our placeholder, add a placeholder with email at host.com and type email. Now, we could stop right here, but there's a lot of repetition. It'd be nice if we could pull that component out and separate just the props. With a feature called args, we can do just that. Add a component property to our meta, assign to it the component being documented. Now, replace the components in each story with an object. Inside of it, add an args object. Then place just the props inside of those objects. In CSF version three, Storybook will automatically take the args objects and apply them to the component that's defined in the Storybook meta object. Now, args aren't the only way that you can write stories in Storybook. You can actually use events as well. Let me show you how to write stories with play functions using interactions from testing library. Create a new email story. Reuse the args from our placeholder story. Add a play property and assign to it a testing library interaction. It's an async function that takes a canvas element. Within that element, we'll get by placeholder text to find our element, click it, and simulate typing the text Santa at northpole.xmas. Now we have a story that arrived to its state through interactions, not props. For a deep dive into writing stories with play functions, check out a recent tutorial we did by clicking the card right up here. You now know how to write component story files, add stories to them using args or play functions. There's just one last thing that you need to know, and that's title. The title property is what controls the nesting levels of a component inside of the storybook sidebar. If we add example slash to the title, this component gets added to the example directory, and we can get new levels of nesting for every slash added to that string. But when we have a component property defined, that title is completely optional. When removed, Storybook will automatically title the story based on the file system position relative to the Storybook root. We can move this component and story into the example directory, putting it in with the other components, and we can nest using directories. If you use a framework that already organizes components on the file system, this is a great option for you. So that's what a story is and how to write one. If you wanna learn more about writing components with args, check out this video up here. If you'd like to learn more about writing components with play functions, check out this video right here. Subscribe for more videos like this. Like and comment if you want to let us know we're doing a good job or tell us what you'd like to learn next. I'm Chantastic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.